It's the book of Titus 3 and verse 3. But we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. All right, with that, we want to start off by giving all blood on the praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shiro Kakadash. All right. I'm the brother. I'm a one. This is me. I'm the brother. Brother, you call. All right, coming from you from down to Bay, Florida, from the Capitol Conference in Babylon. All right, coming another quick hit through the spirit. Probably about Shabbat Shai. Lord willing to edify and feed the sheep. Double honor said that was an apostle. Great millstone. I'll teach you a well. Peace and blessings to the brothers who pushed this work. And true sincerity to this guy, the broad. All right, you know, we want to go into a little lesson. All right, you know, just getting out into the nature, man. As right, you can hear, as you see, okay. All right, going into the, the, the ways of this world, man. Uh, how to deal with it in the spirit, okay? Because as a brother brought the scripture, man, you know, we once used to be in these these type of spirits, man. Okay, we once used to carry ourselves a certain way. We once used to do certain things as according to the scripture, and we're going to bring it back out, okay? You know, brothers are examining certain things throughout the week, all right? And it just, you know, led us to go into the spirit of, uh, you know, how to deal with things in the spirit, man, okay, and not carnally, all right? Let's go ahead and bring it up. Titus 3 and verse 3. Real loud. It says, For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. All right. That's what, like, before we came into this truth, man, you got to think about it. What kind of spirit that we had on us before, man? You know, we had that kind of, that, that kind of same like spirit, man. You know, brothers out there and, you know, doing shit that was envious. Okay, how to mind this shit, you know. You know, we always one point uh, uh, acting like niggas at one point, man. But now when it came into this truth, uh, we, we didn't learn how to operate. Okay, we don't learn how to move. We don't learn how to go about certain ways better, man. Putting off with the niggas ways, man. Okay, but understanding the fact we used to be in that seat. We used to understand of how things used to be done, man. Okay, but then you see Jake going off doing something stupid. You know, how they moving, how they going about certain things, man. Brothers are able to uh, 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 decipher that through the spirit because what, we used to be at one point of time like that, man. You see, read over verse. It says, uh, verse two. Mm -hmm. It says, Titus three and verse two, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. Mm -hmm. But we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, mm -hmm. disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. There you have it. You see? Okay. It gives you a prime example leading into, all right, there's a certain way to go about things in the spirit, man. Okay? Because you got some, some hard-headed dicks out here, man. All right, it's going to be demons that hop on them. Okay, certain spirits are gonna hop on them and try to irritate you, to try to aggravate you, to try to throw you off while you're in the midst of doing something that's for the Lord, man. Or spending time with brothers, or just doing something in the spirit. You're gonna have degenerate niggas or try to do certain things that to, to, to uh, aggravate you, man. Okay, and as the scripture, as the scripture says, man, all right, you, you can't be no brawlers. You can't be certain, you can't come in that kind of spirit, man. You can't be trying to tussle and wrestle with certain people, okay? Or anybody, okay? Because you gotta come back there and realize they, uh, realizing the fact that we used to be like that. And what did Romans chapter 12 say? You read above the Bible, Romans chapter 12 say, okay, we have to present our bodies a living sacrifice, okay? And what, what is it, holy? I mean, it's separate, man. All right? You can't be out here trying to uh, 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 be the biggest baddest, uh, uh, boo, 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 all right? And, and, and a little put a spin on that dude to knock your ass out, man, because you're walking around like that, you know? I mean, it's so, you just got to carry yourself in the spirit, man. And the scriptures tell us how to. Go ahead. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, mm -hmm. by the mercies of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. What? He said, living. present your body a living sacrifice. And that's what we're going to do every day, man. The Lord is requiring us to present our bodies a living sacrifice. Okay, we got to go out here and, and serve the Lord. Okay, we got to go out here and do certain things in the spirit. Okay? 
we have to present our bodies a living sacrifice, man. I mean, if you're doing something, either if, if it's you doing something that you're not supposed to be doing, all right, and not operating the spirit, you throwing off everything, man. You throwing off all the ways of how it's supposed to be going according to what y'all watch y'all shall set it up, man. Okay, you're not really presenting your body sacrifice. You're not walking in the spirit. If you're not having carnal things in the spirit, man. And we are all been there. We don't all been in that situation where we do, you know, came into an altercation and it was unexpectedly or you know things happen but more so on coming into the times that we're in man we see these people these people acting retarded man these people acting like freaking like demons man right more than ever okay so we have to what walk um circumspectly which we're gonna grab next okay in these times man train carefully okay because we, we we are amongst wolves or we're amongst demons and all these things that could lead to just uh, 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 you getting your ass taken out the game, man, for the slightest little, for the little slightest thing, you know. I'll bring it back. It says, uh, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, Romans 12 and 1, by the mercies of Yahweh, mm -hmm. that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, you know, a living sacrifice. Go ahead, holy, acceptable unto Ooh. Yahweh. It said, holy and acceptable unto Yahweh by Shabbat Shah, man. So, we were always walking in. In the spirit and applying scriptures to our life, okay. And we're walking in the spirit and um, applying scriptures to our life. We'll be doing those things as a holiness, man. You know, separate, apart, coming out of this world. Because that's gonna be grab before. God damn, that bird chirping, boy. Yeah. You know, bird we saying, hey, they hear this new song, man. Shit, boy. Scripture says, uh, the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you gotta realize, man, this have not been, what we doing right now hasn't been on earth for a very long time, man. Mm -hmm. and now, you know, this this word, you know, it, it, it has a vibration to it. The names of your house, you not shy, a vibration to it. Yep. The animals can feel it. Yep. You know, the trees come out to the highway and the wind get the blowing. Mm -hmm. You know, get the raining. Mm -hmm. Okay, because this, this word has a vibration to it, man, but stick it to the point. Back. back to what the brother said. Mm -hmm. Romans 12 verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Holy acceptable to Yahweh, which is a reasonable service. Which is a reasonable service. Okay. So it's that holy and acceptable. Okay. Two main uh, factors right there. You know, something apart. Okay. Separate. Okay. And it said, what else? Bring it back. It says, what's your reasonable service? All right. I believe it said acceptable too. Yeah. Okay, so we have to do things that's acceptable in the spirit. And you will know how to do things that's acceptable in the spirit, okay, is when you're applying the scriptures to your life. The point going into it is the fact that you got, you got all these things around you, and if you move wrong, it could attack you. At any moment, any second, uh, any second, man. You see? Because it's dangerous all set around us, man. We're in a valley shot of death. Okay, we're in America, man. But there's nothing but uh, breeds death and destruction. Breeds sickness and illness and diseases. Okay? It breeds nothing but degenerate niggas. All right? And you have it. We're in the midst of these things, man. But the Lord's requiring us to do what is according to these scriptures, man. To at least to the best of our abilities, we ain't perfect. But the Lord said, What? Presenting our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, okay? Which is our reasonable service, man. You gotta move with this. Mm -hmm. You gotta move with this, man. You know, and, you know, you can't, you, you can't be out here moving like the same nigga you once were, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's Point shit, given. That shit gotta go. And the Lord throw a, uh, the Lord throw a test at you. You were using nigga, they try to get under your skin to see how you will react. And if you react the wrong way, the Lord can use that nigga to mess you up. Yeah. You know? Or you can you can do something to make uh that put that may put blame on the ministry. The scripture says, uh, give you no offense in anything, but the ministry cannot be blamed, man. Mm -hmm. When you are in the world, or when you're on the highways and handles, you know, you handle your business in the world, just because you're not on camera, that don't mean, you know, you just go back to you gotta carry yourself like an angel right off the camera. You can't, you know, nigga come up to you like, hey nigga, what's up, nigga? Yeah, hey man, you know, I'm sorry, man. Which we ain't no cowards. Yeah. 
But you gotta understand, you got it's, it's a time and place for all that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, scripture says, be no brawlers. Be no brawlers. You know, before we even think to be in uh in a spirit of uh, a uh, uh, spirit of, you know, I'm I'm a, you have to get down. You know, our first mind should be what, what should we what should we do in the spirit? Yeah, yeah. Your, your first mind should gonna be uh, humbly taking what the scripture says. Yeah, you know. You wise serpent, huh? Dove. Exactly. You're gonna go go about the situation. Uh, 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 you know, lessen the, the situation as much as possible yep. before it even get to a, a, a altercation. That's you know, says, uh, a soft answer, turn it the way around. That's right. Now, if a motherfucker can walk up and you know take it off on you, you're not the man. Yeah, defend yourself. Mm -hmm. But it shouldn't get to that point, man. Yeah. You know, it shouldn't. It should never get to that point where a motherfucker just walking up and taking off on you, man. Yeah. You know hey, man. Because listen, you know, brothers being out here, man. Yeah. You know, brothers be out of highways and hedges. Certain things come, you know. Hey, man, the scripture says, y'all about to not be a, a force who shall be against us. You know, it's going to be certain things that are going to happen. You know, you might have men that actually oppress you, or you might have certain men that might come up upon you in your face. But the Lord, the Lord said he's going to fight for us, man. Yeah. You got, if you think in your right from mind, thinking a nigga going to put their hands on you, the Lord ain't going to jack their ass up for doing that. <laughs> Hey man, right? Come on now. Yeah, niggas talk shit. We let the niggas talk shit, bro. We don't see, we don't see, we don't gotta defend ourselves no more. Mm -hmm. We don't gotta try to defend our ego. You know what I'm saying? People look at us, how you, how you like to call you a bitch ass nigga and whole ass nigga and all this other stuff? But the Lord gonna deal with him. Yeah, fuck we, it. We don't gotta, we don't gotta, we don't gotta, you know, fucking jump up and be, you know, you know, get off to growl with a nigga, bro. Mm -hmm. let, 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 let that nigga talk shit, and the Lord gonna deal with him. Yeah. We're gonna get back to doing this work. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. Now the time gonna come where we may have to, you know, hey man, we come to some time we might have to put a nigga down, man. Yeah. Nigga come up, nigga, nigga try to come up on them brothers and we might have to poke a nigga, man. Mm -hmm. But that right now, that's not the time to be doing that. Right now is the time to just come out here, be harmless, and, and do the work. That's right. Because you're not shots as doves, man. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I got a precept. That was it on that? Yes, the second verse right here. Uh, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world. And be not what? Conformed to this world. And be not conformed to this world, man. You know? A part of these certain things. A part of this, a part of that. And be not conformed to this world. We can't be we can't be operating uh as a this world. As a Roman. You know? Yeah. As a woman, like the brother said. Like a Roman citizen. As an American. Yeah, as you an know? American. I go, or a, a, a two-third general nigga, man. You can't be operating like that, man. That's why we brought in the beginning of that scripture. We used to do like that. We used to move like that. We used to think like that. But we can't move like that anymore, man. I don't want to even think that I move like that ever again. Like that, you know, that's trusting in your own heart, bro. Yeah. When you, when you find yourself just doing what the scripture say do, man, it might be a thousand times easier, bro. A lot easier. You don't got to worry about a nigga. You know, a nigga may talk some shit. The Lord may... And send a demon to hop on that nigga and see what you gonna do. And like last night, for example, me and the brothers, we spending some time together, man. You know, we got bowling and stuff, you know, having a good time. They say, man, you sorry as fuck, nigga, nigga, you this, nigga, nigga. I'm like, yeah, 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 you got it, man, you got it. And I'm just laughing with him, yeah. Yeah. You see, he wanted me to get agitated, but see, I put the script on the guy. I'm, I'm joking with him now. Mm -hmm. You know? So the point was, all right, man, he don't want to joke no more. Yeah. Then he started messing with the, the, the demon, flee from him. Now I'm trying to, uh, 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 now he, he, he stopped from messing with us. Now he's trying to hop on the next nigga to the side of us, man. Yep. You see, because yep. he couldn't, he see, he couldn't do nothing against us. Mm -hmm. And the crazy part was, and that's, that's, see, that's, that's really what this lesson generated through the spirit, man. Because you see, brothers deal with certain things that are weak, man. And you notice it. You might see it more frequently. You might see it happen once or twice. But when you see these things, the spirit might be uh, on you to, to speak about these things because who knows? Some of you brothers might be going through these things, man. Yeah. And it, it'd rather be, you know, however it goes, this message being put forth could help lots of brothers understand too. And, and man, like, you know, we throw up our hands to that shit, man. You know, you can have it. Yeah, we done with that nigga. You no, know, you can have it, man, because, you know, try to antagonize the brother, yeah. try to get the brother to all angered up. You know, and a brother, you know, was just trying to bold. He really, he was trying to show off for his woman, man. Yeah. But, you know, we, hey, bro, we, we done been there and done that, bro. We done did that, man. We done did, niggas. We done, we, we tried to be a niggas. Yeah. It's going to come a time when you're going to say, man, 
Fuck being a nigga, fuck man. Fuck being a nigga, bro. Fuck being a fucking a little pookie them. You know, little Ray Ray. You, know, you got, got a black amount hanging out your ear. Yeah. Your pants hanging out your ass and you don't got a shirt on. Blown in your ear. You know, your, your musty, you ain't got no deodorant on. Your, your breath stink. Looking all goddamn. You ain't wash your face this morning. Sick in the face. Your lips black. You know, we, we, mad we, at the world. You know, we, yeah, yeah, mad at the world. That's, that's another thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to work. Oh, yeah, that's another one. Yeah. Niggas don't want to work, man. Niggas, niggas, niggas say, man, nigga, I ain't trying to work. You ain't trying to eat. Want to sell drugs. Want to sell dope. Get the easy way. I said, see, that's, that's, that's nigga. That's, see, the Lord teaching us manhood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Lord teaching us manhood because a nigga, a nigga, that's one for four. See, it don't matter. But it say, you know, the Lord teaching us manhood because niggahood wants it the easy way. Yeah. They want to make that fast money. They want to make that fast money so they can go sell, you know, they can go sell, you know, two grams of weed, you know, make a quick $25, $30. Right. They can go sell a little, little bag, uh, a nickel bag, uh, you know, Coke, and they can go make a $50, $60. Fast. See, the Lord say, uh, the Lord teaching us manhood. Scripture say, hey, not labor is work. Go to work, bust your ass, 70 hours for these crackers, you know. Get the lights a little, you don't got to worry about going to jail. See, Jake wanted them, Jake wanted to come out the fast way. But they're not, they're not, they're not, uh, they're not considering who they're affecting. You're affecting your own people. Mm -hmm. You, 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 you destroying your own, you destroying your, uh, 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 your own, your own people, man. Hey, and that, that, there you have it. You know, that's, that's being a nigga. Yep. Okay. That's, that's what you see today. That's also being not considering. Yeah. That's a nigga. A nigga that doesn't consider his, he don't consider. He don't have counsel. You can't teach him shit. Niggas is going off his own will. I don't want to hear that shit, bro. Now he's like, how the fuck I'm gonna grow? How are you gonna tell me what to do? Nigga can't be corrected. The Lord bringing us out of all that shit, bro. Yeah. A nigga can't be corrected. Nigga can't be uh nigga can't be counseled with. It's angry all the time. It goes on to say, it be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah. You got to be renewed, Jake. You have to be, your, 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 the way you thought before has to go. You have to, you have to lead that type of, to, to, that way of thinking of, you know, you just always right and you never wrong and, and you're going to do it your way. The Lord set a way for you. The Lord said he's the way. Mm. Not you the way, he's the way. You can't do it your way. You got to do it his way. Right. Our way ain't work. Our yeah. way got us right where the fuck we at. Never work. Our way ain't never work. Jake said that before. We well, don't do it our way, man. You know, look where we at now, Jake. In the worst condition that we can possibly fucking be in. In the worst case scenario. Yeah. But all we had to do was listen. Yeah. Jake is like a Jake is like a bitter. The spirit of the spirit of Israel is like a bitter woman. Want to do things her way. And then she get fucked up and realize that your way was the right way the whole time. Yeah. That's us. Yeah. But you gotta come up out of that, man. You gotta be a, a, a humble woman, you know, a cleaving woman. Oh, I'm gonna do it your way, you know. All you know, follow you everywhere you go. That's the that's the woman that we gotta be. Scripture says, uh, "These are they that follow the land, whether so he goeth." So we gotta follow the way of your house, shot. Not your way. It ain't about your way, man. It says. That he uh, says that he may be that, that he may prove what is that good and acceptable with an acceptable and perfect will of your Howard. That's right. Acceptable. We want to be accepted. That's right. You want to be accepted, man. You want to do the things that's of the spirit and not of the flesh. And once again, you know, we come to a turn. We come to certain moments are uh, within, you know, within the fighting, within the, the, the battle. You gonna have moments. You gonna you gonna fight the flesh, man. Yeah. Within those situations, but the Lord wants us to operate off the certain certain. The Lord wants us to operate off the spirit, man. Off of these scriptures, you know what He's given us to go and abide by. You see, and when we do that, like the brother mentioned earlier, life becomes to be a lot more easier because we're doing what is already given to us to move correctly and then in the right spirit. You know what I'm saying? Because we and we we all are. Behind enemies' lines, okay. We on we in their territories, 
and the things lead to go to, uh, you know, freaking whatever, all hell breaks loose in this situation, and you make this stuff go this way and everybody going that way, you could get fucked up, man, you know? And that's what's leading to going into, you know, the lesson is the fact that things nowadays, man, okay, we have to tread more carefully, we have to be more, okay, in the spirit, walk more in the spirit, do things to the, to the best of our ability, okay, abide in the spirit more than, and then carnally, okay, because we started seeing more of these people having a lot more demons frequently occur, and it's, it's, it's left and right with people dropping left and right about the smallest, littlest thing, man. Yeah, right? Road rage. Road rage. Nigga, nigga kill a family of five because he got passed over on the road. Yeah. Nigga shit, bro. I just seen a video yesterday of these two dudes uh, down here in, in Temple, you know, we, we stationed at in Florida, uh, where these dude got a car and they was in there barking at each other and then Jake knocked this dude out. He hit him, man, knocked his ass out. I'm like, yo. Man, these people tripping over the smallest things nowadays, oh, man. man. How much more there ain't no food? How much store? more? Exactly. How much more when ain't no food? How much water. more in no water? No. How much more when you ain't got shit? How much more when these devils just take it all away? Take it all away. These people gonna really start losing it, man. Yeah. You know. Scripture says, uh, "The love of many shall wax cold, mm -hmm. ice cold, man." Motherfucker kill you because cause motherfucker getting ready to kill you because you got a pair of uh, a black. Uh, if a motherfucker will kill you right now because you got a red tank top on. That's how, that's, how, that's how low the Lord brought us as a people. Yeah. To where the, a, a nigga will kill you. If you go out in California, you go to the wrong neighborhood with a blue shirt on, a nigga will kill you, man. A nigga killed someone over a, a damn extra pack of mu mustard. Yeah. Or mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. You put too much mustard. Ah, I killed him. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, nigga, I said I ain't want no onions on my burger, nigga. Kill you. Yeah. Hey, dude died over a bag of chips. He got cut up, done up, for a bag of chips. Shot him to death. Stabbed him to death bag for a of bag chips. of chips. I had a big bag of chips, a small bag of chips. Life behind bars for 50 a bag cent. of chips. 50, 50 cent, 59 cent chips, or 79 cent, nah. Chips, you gotta stop the death. You know? Yeah. That's the child you're coming into. You can grab a bubble shot, uh, uh, Ephesians 5, walk the circus practically. Ephesians 5, walk the circus practically. All right? And we ain't gonna beat the dead horse, you know? Just getting to the point, you know, just walking more in the spirit, you know, could have grabbed more scriptures, but you know, we're gonna wrap it up, you know, leave what the spirit lead us to next. Ephesians 5 15, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Mm -hmm. Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Because the days are evil. And that's the point. You see, we gotta walk circumspectly. Okay, we gotta be more visual. Okay, we gotta be more. Uh, uh, circumspect these things, man, because you know everybody down left and right by the smallest things, man. And uh, you know you love brothers, man. So you promote it and push this message of, you know, brothers just gotta just gotta be a little bit more careful, man. You know you, these niggas acting the fool. These people acting the fool out there. And the Lord's stirring, the Lord's stirring it up, man. You know. So hey, bring it back for a show. We gonna close it out with that. Five and uh, fifteen. See then that you all circumspectly, not as fools but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Because the days are evil. We in some troubling times, man. All right. So Lord, one of y'all, I'm gonna shout out the God. This this lesson was edifying. We we'll give all glory and praise to once again. To Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhash. Once again, the one said I was a prophet. Most of us, you watch the next time we see. Shalom.